What's up, YouTube? So, I have no idea what day it is today. I have been inside for, I think, three weeks. It feels like three months. And um, I've been failing at studying. So, put something up on YouTube last week and it sounds like a lot of you guys are in the same boat as me. And instead of feeling guilty about it, let's just fix it. So today I'm going to film five tips that have helped me get into the right, right mindset when the world is falling apart around you and you have to act like it's not and keep studying like normal. So if you're interested and you wanna be productive today with me, keep watching. So let's change into something for the day. Okay, I don't really have to go anywhere so I'm just in my pajamas. Okay, let's go to the kitchen. Okay, so the first step that I'm gonna share and this is something that I do whether I'm on quarantine or I'm on a normal day is I have a really hard time waking up in the morning and the thing that helps me the most is having something to look forward to um, and it usually involves food or drink and what that's been for me during quarantine is TikTok coffee and it is literally I don't know how I didn't know about this before I it's amazing and I'm gonna show you guys how to make it <laughs> This is what the finished product looks like and then you just mix it up and you drink it when i first saw it on tiktok i thought it was going to be like overrated and not that good but it's honestly the best coffee i've ever made in my own home and potentially even ever bought so cheers just clean up your study space make it look presentable and then come sit down now this is a weird little hack but I like to put my feet up when I study. Like I like to elevate them a little, it makes it comfier. And so I put a shoe box that's clearly been destroyed and I like make it like a foot rest kind of thing. And then I take a pillow um, and I swear to God, these like two things don't seem like that serious, but after studying all day long, they make a huge difference in your back and they just like make you feel a lot better and like more productive. So try those, to those two things. The next tip is to make and stick to a study schedule. This has just like helped me stay kind of like accountable. All of these white things are days where I just didn't study and I didn't do anything and I sucked, but that's fine because I can see like, oh, this day I did really good and I actually did everything I wanted to do. So anyway, today, I actually did both of these things yesterday. So today I am going to do all of these things and um, this should take about like six hours to do all of it. Having a list of the things that you wanna accomplish today, and this isn't like a crazy list. This isn't like huge and overwhelming or anything like that. This is very doable and I know that. So I know that I should be able to complete it if I like stay on track. So I'm gonna start, like actually these are 40 world questions. I'm gonna start with 20 new ones in the morning while I'm still like fresh and <laughs> you can go away ASOS, thank you. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna start studying and check in with you guys when I have a next tip. I forgot to mention I eat while I study always. These are really good. Thanks Trish for the recommendation. Um, Quaker oatmeal squares and brown sugar. They're delicious. So my next tip is reward yourself when you finish like a certain milestone. Like I just finished doing my Anki and I finished 20 new UWorld questions. And so now I'm rewarding myself with Flaming Hot Cheetos and Starburst. I'm going to sit now with my snacks and do some online med ed videos. You guys, I'm failing right now and I keep ending up on my phone because like it'll, <clears throat> a, notification, a notification will go off and I'll go check that notification. And then somehow I end up on Instagram and then somehow I end up on TikTok and then somehow it's 30 minutes later and I've been on my phone and not doing work. So <clears throat> my next tip that I'm going to enforce for myself right now is you get up from where you're studying 
and you take your phone, which is what I'm recording on, and you walk very, very, very far away. And then you put your phone down and you walk away. All right, the next tip that I have is um, really just for like your posture. And I've been sitting for close to six hours. The next thing that I recommend to do is making a stand up desk. So I literally just took some shoe boxes and stacked them and then I'm just gonna transition here so I can stand. So you can just easily make it. You don't have to get a fancy anything. You could use shoe boxes from your closet and now you have a standing desk. I actually like elevated some tissue. They're just perfectly placed there. Right, right there. So that's Take a break like when you feel like you're like running out of steam whenever that is in your schedule and do something completely different. So, so like I've been cleaning a lot of closets, I've been doing laundry, but today I'm actually gonna go grocery shopping for my parents. Where I live, it's recommended that you wear uh, like a face mask and I didn't have one. So I'm gonna show you guys what I came up with in case anyone else is in the same situation as me. I actually took, this is like an insert from a workout, like a uh, sports bra. And then this is an eye mask. And I like looked around my whole room and this is kind of the best that I could do. It's not as good as like getting official stuff. So that like wasn't enough. So then if you slip in this guy, it kind of covers me a good amount doesn't look, I look like a really weird person, but everyone looks weird these days. So then I feel like I'm pretty well protected against the Rona. So I'm gonna go grocery shopping and then finish my studying when I get back. I'm at my parents' house and it's uh, almost 11 and I'm gonna finish studying because I still have 20 more new to do and then I'm done for the day. So <laughs> that's my dad. <laughs> So those are the things that I do and I find them kind of helpful during this quarantine and I hope you guys are doing well with studies and hopefully we can all get back to normal. So I'll be here on the couch doing some U World until it's time for bed. Hi Jim. <laughs> Alright guys, see you next time.